So here's another division problem for us. Is this set up where I can use synthetic division? Yes. Notice what I have here, what I'm dividing by. It's a linear factor. It's got a coefficient of 1. It's got an exponent of 1. So I'm okay with that. You're just bringing all that up. Right. This guy's going to be a little bit larger than what I'm used to, right? So just like we've done before, I'm going to label these guys here at the top. So this is for my k. What am I going to start with here on the inside? x to the third. I've got an x squared term. An x term, I've got a constant term. Which means down here below the constant term is my what? And these coefficients will be for what? If it was x to the third here, the coefficient down here will be for what term? x squared. x squared. I'm going to take one off of the degree. It was x squared up here, so this guy will be the coefficient of x. x. It was x here, so down here, I'm going to get the coefficient of what? Constant. Actually, I'm just going to get the constant term, right? Is everybody okay with the setup that I have with that? Because now, it's all about writing the coefficients down and then adding, adding and multiplying. <coughs> What's your k value? Five. If you say negative 5, just trash the problem. You've already screwed it up. What's your co what are your coefficients here? What goes up here? 1, one negative 5, 2, and negative 12. What, am I gonna, what will I do first? One goes on the outside, so there's the one. Then what? Multiply and I get five. What do I do with these numbers? Add them and I get zero. Five times zero is two plus zero is two. Multiply again. I get a rem I get a remainder, don't I? So. These are all of your coefficients. These are all the numbers you need. Take this and write your answer. Kimberly, what are you saying? X squared. X squared. How much X? None. So do I need to write any, do I need to write zero X? Zero. So plus two or minus two? Plus it's two. a positive here. Positive. And so you do have to be very careful about your signs. So that's a right. plus two. And then how do you write your remainder piece? Minus 2 over x minus 5, right. So that negative doesn't affect the x minus 5 is 2. My remainder is negative 2. If it makes you feel better, you can just say plus here and put your negative in the top like that. It's the same thing. It's the same expression. Any other questions about that? Is that, is that too easy? Well, maybe. Let's try this one. I hope I have enough room. X to the fifth minus 3x to the third plus 2x squared plus 5x minus 7 is divided by x plus 4. Give yourself enough room here. Well, I'm going to do it just like all the other ones. My k goes at here. What's the highest degree guy that I have to worry about? So I'm going to write x to the fifth, and I write x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x, and my constant. Everybody must be spoken for. Now, underneath the constant piece, just like I've been showing you, is going to go my what? Remainder. If this was x to the fifth here, what coefficient will I get here? x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x, and the last guy here will be your constant. So start with that, the skeletal framework right here. Is everybody okay with that? Yeah? You seem kind of like that, that deep breath, like, oh my gosh, can you do it? What, what's your k value? 
k is negative 4. What are your coefficients for x to the fifth? One. What about x to the fourth? Zero. I don't have one, so I write 0. x to the third? And two, Five. and negative seven. Do you all agree? You can do this. So bring the one down. What do you get? Just one, right? Mm -hmm. Times negative four is minus four. zero minus four. four. Multiply. I get sixteen. Negative three plus sixteen is what? <coughs> Negative 4 times 13 is so uh, negative 52. 52. 2 and negative 52 is negative, 50. negative 4 times negative 50. And so that gives you 205. Negative 4 times 205. Oh, come on now. 4 times 200 is 800. 4 times 5 is 20. 820. So here's a question for you. Is x plus 4 a factor of this guy? No. Nope. Not even close, right? So how do you write That'd your answer? to figure out. <laughs> Long division. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. If you did this with long division, <laughs> it's going to take you a long time. How long did it take me to do this? It didn't take me long. Even though the numbers got large, they were st still manageable, right? So what is your answer here? X to the fourth minus 4x four to the third. Minus 4x to the third. 13x squared. 13x squared. Minus Minus 50x plus 205 plus 205 minus 827 over x plus 4. And then your remainder term. Perfect, man. So how do you feel about synthetic division? Uh, it's a whole lot better than one. Yeah, it's a lot easier for this plus what we're going to show you next. It's going to make your life a little bit easier for some problems. Oh.